Moon Trekker is on Lantau Island, which is a, a, a beautiful spot. Um, I grew up in Lantau. Uh, my parents bought a place in 1978, I think it was, as a, a weekend place, to, as a base for hiking. And it's, um, it's always been part of my, uh, my DNA. My first big hike was on Lantau, and that's how I really discovered the beauty of it. I'll always remember that first day on a Saturday morning, I went up sunset and for the first time it was clear and I, it just took my breath away, I had tears in my eyes because I'd never seen anything so beautiful. We started back in 2009 with 380 participants and this year we have uh, 1,600, so it's uh, changed a lot over the years. So we've been sponsoring Moon Tracker for uh, three years uh, this year, and it's been great to see the race grow. We get involved because it's it's a unique event. There's no events which uh, start at night and are team events, and the vast majority who do it do it as a corporate. A lot of corporates use it as team building, and it's been very effective that way. And we're very excited. Um, we've raised over $5 million for uh, children's literacy in Asia and Africa. And we hope to raise uh, another 2.5 million is our goal um, for this year. This race is very special because when it started at 9 o'clock, in Hong Kong, it will be in the evening at I find it really, I mean, so inspiring and magic that it's dark, you've got your light, and you really look at the train in front of you, and you really get to experience the pure joy of running. We're really excited about tonight's Moon Tracker because we're very close to raising about $2 million. We're at about 1.8 million Hong Kong dollars. We think we're going to get to about $2 million Hong Kong dollars total raised. And that's going to allow Room to Read to reach literally thousands more children across Southeast Asia, South Asia, across Africa. And I'm excited because it's my first Moon Tracker. I'm not, I mean, I've watched it from afar. Um, but this year, William talked me into coming out and running. Uh, I recently got married. I talked my wife into doing this with me. So wish us luck. I hope that at the end of it, she says to me, this was a really good idea. Super really hot in here, but loving it. Um, I think hope to scare a few people along the way.
think the checkpoint is going to close at 2.30 and we're now at about half past after midnight and so we've still got quite a lot of runners to come in. Sandwiches and then a nice carrot soup at the end there as well. Lots of runners, lots of walkers, lots of happy people. Um, loving it, loving it, great experience. Nine and a half k's to go. Thank you. Land tower is two k's to the top, and then it's all downhill. Got to finish laying a site. I've been thinking about getting a taxi for the last ten k's, but now it's only nine k's left. It's not so bad. Open. There you go. The last peak. Yeah. Land tower peak. Just Good. enjoy. I think it's the third or fourth time I've done it, and I think it's it's one of the favourite races on the calendar. Actually, it's like a good distance. The off pace is amazing. At one stage, my head was hurting more from the headlamp than my la my legs running. So I figured it was a good thing. I forget about my legs and my injuries and stuff. Great race. I really, really enjoyed doing it. I think it's great that it's a fundraiser for Room to Read. I think that's a you know, big, big draw for the race. I love it. It's one of my favourite events. I like running in the dark. I like running at night. It's the only race you can do that. Woo! Congratulations! This is it. I'm this never doing it, it again. It. It's awesome. I mean, the view is good, and I feel like the deep is sun. They've dragged me up, and now that I'm over that bit, I'm he's going to carry him down. <laughs> Something like that. And it's downhill all the way. And we've spent we've spent two solid months training. Yeah, yeah, we've worked really really hard for this. So. Do you know what, it's really nice to see Hong Kong mountains first thing in the morning in sunrise. I've never seen that before, it's pretty special. I might never see it again. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm only going to do it once, so I might as well do it all. Really, really tough. Um, I'll have to think twice about doing it next year. <laughs>